Okay, so I got a request to uh, edit a parts list or a bomb list on a drawing file. So I mocked this up here. I've got an assembly file. I've got just two components. Uh, it's the same component. There's just two um, two pieces of them in this assembly. And what you do is you can take these components and put, move them into a drawing. And you might want to export a PDF and send a parts list to maybe your client or um, your ordering manager. So I'm just going to drop that bomb list in right there and you'll notice that it has item 1, quantity 2 of the part number, descriptions blank, and it's got the material name by default. Now you can't edit any of these columns, um, but you can edit the information for each component. So um, what this particular person wanted to do was they know that on this assembly, they use two pipes that are half the length of a full length of pipe. So they wanted to show two pipes in the assembly, but have quantity as one here. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about why that's a bad idea. Um, one, it might be more efficient to purchase longer pipes and then cut them down into more segments. So it's better to know the actual individual parts that make up your assembly as opposed to the raw materials that you would need to order because lengths of pipe change um, based on cost of the length of the pipe. So um, in this instance, I also want to know the description of how long this pipe is. So let's go back over to our assembly file. And what I would do is I go to properties. So I right clicked on the component, go to properties. And in here, like I said, part name is not shown, but part number is shown. So I'm going to go ahead and call this, um, we're just going to call it, it's, it's going to be half inch by 60 inch pipe. So we're going to call it 1260 and it's white pipe. Um, part name doesn't matter, description. Here's where I'm going to actually put the length. Now I'm going to type in length, spell it right, equals 30 inches. Go ahead and hit enter there. And now that's going to, um, I can show you that in my parameters, I've already done length is 30. So, I mean, I can change this 28. It'll change there in the assembly, but um, unfortunately, you can't put the parameter value directly into your description. That would be nice, but it's not there yet. So I'm going to save this. Okay. I'm going to come back over to my drawing file. It's giving me a warning because it says the file's out of date. So I'm going to go ahead and update that. And we can see up here that uh, my parts list has been updated as well. So item one, which quantity of two, it's got that part number. Um, so maybe if you're ordering from the McMaster, Park, McMaster car, or if you go from Home Depot, you know what the part number is. And then you know the length of each individual part. Um, so like I said, if, if you normally get five foot sticks of PVC pipe, uh, you know that you need uh, just one stick to buy two. But say, Maybe it was cheaper to buy an uh, eight-foot stick, and you could get three lengths of 30-inch pipe out of that. Um, so you just got to look at your cost there. And the same is true if you use fittings, so like 90-degree elbows. Uh, maybe it's cheaper to buy a contractor's bag at Home Depot, or maybe you can buy them in bulk at 50 a pop. But um, you got to know the parts that make up your assembly, and that's what Fusion 360's bomb parts list is going to give you. I hope that helps, and we'll see you around.